Good morning, it's Eco Cars here, and what I'm doing now is giving you a short video clip of our Citroen Nemo van on a 10 plate, registered the 30th of July 2010. So it's not yet due its first MOT, still under warranty with Citroen until its uh, third birthday. And it's been converted with a Citroen approved LPG system from day one. So there's the filler, rather neatly fitted in the rear quarter of the bumper. It's the X trim, which means we get a high level brake light. And we've also ply lined it with a fresh ply lining kit. So it's all nice and clean. Um, we get a little interior light. And also the spare wheel is bolted to the rear cage uh, for the driver. And it's ready for work. Nice split rear doors. It's been the X trim. You have to lock the doors with the key. So then there are two keys as well. And basically, I'll talk you around the van. It's very clean. There's the odd tiny bit of glue which will come off with a, with a polish, but it's very clean down the sides. Um, let me talk you around all the basics before we go inside. Tyres, brand new tyre on the front, seven millimetres there. It's also had brand new discs because they were a little bit lit. This is a brand new tyre again, seven millimetres, new disc. This is a new tyre, 7 mil. is it a new tyre? Yeah, there's about 6 millimetres on that. I actually replaced three of the tyres. Ah, this is the one, this is a Michelin. Uh, so it's got three brand new tyres and one that's at about 5 millimetres. Um, it runs very well on LPG. Cheaper to run than the diesel Nemo. So there's no rips or tears to any of the fabric or upholstery. It's ready for work. Driver's seat, a little bit of sag in there, but nothing undue, it's still very comfortable to drive. We get like a rubber floor matting in, the, in both footwells, a little bit of a hole there, obviously proper rubber matting and you wouldn't notice, and it runs very well. So just let me show you some more features. So like I say, I'll just start the van. Now that click you heard is it clicking straight over to LPG. So the level in the gas tank is indicated by the four lights along the top. At any time, press the middle of the switch, there we are running on petrol. Press the switch, blip the throttle, click straight over to gas, and there we are running on LPG. Have to keep a little bit of fuel in the petrol tank just for that start-up moment, and of course if you run out of gas it automatically defaults back to petrol. Guarantee the mileage there, 55,782 miles. No warning lights, everything works as it should. Wanted to get into agriculture. Radio, etc. Single shot my CD player. It's in my blood. Uh, power assisted steering, wiper stalk, and also lights and indicator. The other side, normal heated controls. Um, it's very useful, it's very nice upright driving position. 5 speed manual gearbox, little power point down there for your sat nav. It really does drive very well. So, looking at the documents, we have a spare key here and we have the V5 here. It was uh, first of all pre registered by Citroen City and then it was used by destination couriers in London. And basically, all the details are here that you need to know. The 30th of July 2010, light goods vehicle. Uh, type of fuel petrol, it's not been changed to gas by fuel LPG because the road tax is exactly the same for commercial vehicles which is £210 for 12 months. The installation certificate is here, showing it's been converted by Nicholas and McLaren engines and it was converted at just 7 miles. So this is also online as well. The original PDI certificate from Citroen, also the original invoice from Citroen to destination couriers which was £9,700. So great little van, all the documents are here, there is no service history but we've had it serviced and of course it would have been serviced by the previous company as well. So under the bonnet of the Nemo we've got so everything is as it should be, it looks like it's had a new battery at some point, it's got a Bosch battery. There's the uh, Nicholas and McLaren engine control unit, the ECU and that injects the gas into, or well, basically programs the car to accept the gas and that's injected down the back of the inlet manifold. A little plaque from Nicholas and McLaren saying it's an official 
Citroen equipped LPG system. HPI clear of course, no signs of any accident damage and I'll just take you now for a final walk around. So before uh, we finish I'll just take you for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. Starts off straight away and click straight over to LPG and the clutch feels fine. It's about halfway of the pedal, it doesn't pull or snatch. First gear, second gear. First thing you notice about a Nemo LPG van is how much quieter they are over the diesel. Now, it hasn't quite got the same torque of a diesel of course, but uh, once it's up and going you can sit happily all day at motorway speeds. So it doesn't pull to the left or the right, it brakes nice and straight of course, it's got brand new discs on the front, three brand new tyres, it is have everything up to it to make it ready for work. It pulls nice and clean, nice and straight, fourth gear, fifth gear, lovely upright driving position as well. That concludes the short test drive, just to give you an idea of how they how they drive. And I'll just take you now for a final walk around this van. So welcome back from the test drive. So uh, other than the, the odd tiny tiny dimple dent from being really super picky, it's a very clean van. Ready for work, cheaper to run than the diesel, and uh, look forward to the call if you've got any questions or you want to test drive this or any of our LPG vehicles. Feel free to call me here at Eco Cars. Thanks for watching.